Okay, this is going to be an interesting video today. Um, in this clip, we are taking a close look at a, a Solus Ferra diamond. It is, it is a three-quarter of a carat. It is an E-color. Um, the diamond is an I-1 in clarity. And I am... I have purposely positioned the imperfections um, that we, you know, that if you're going to see inclusions in the stone, um, the primary graders in this diamond are in the 2 and 3 o'clock position. Primarily the 3 o'clock position is the one that we're able to make out a little more easier. But we're looking at the diamond, we're going to look at it in multiple lighting, not necessarily for optics, although the Solar Sphera does have awesome optics, but we're looking at it for um, just to see how much we can spot that inclusion and quite honestly in the diffuse lighting environment which is what we're in now um, the indoor diffused it is tough to see the inclusion with the eyes in this lighting there's other lighting that it's easier to see it in but it's per it's in the two and three the, prim the primary one is in the three o'clock position which is a crystal and then there's a feather in the two o'clock position but they're off to the side as opposed to being under the table which is good okay so here is that view in diffuse lighting now I'm going to go to spotlighting okay here is spotlighting so spotlighting um, tends to make the body I mean you'll see more fire and sparkle and stuff like that in diffuse lighting um, but diffuse I'm, I'm sorry in spotlighting but in spotlighting, um, the body of a diamond tends to go a little darker and would highlight eye visible inclusions more so. So, and even quite frankly, as I look into the screen of my camera, um, it's, it's hard for me to see. So when we put this, when we publish this on YouTube, um, you may actually be able to see the inclusion easier than what I'm seeing it here in real life, actually. Okay, so this is a good I-1 in the sense that the primary graders are off to the side. Um, a prong will most likely be able to cover most, if not all, of the one at 3 o'clock. Okay, we're going to look at it in the stronger spotlighting now. Okay, here's the stronger spotlighting environment. Okay. And again, that's in the 2 and 3 o'clock position. I'm not changing the position as it's being held in the tweezers. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're going to go, um, I'm going to bring you to another lighting environment now. Okay, this is a lighting here I was able to make out the inclusion in. Um, we're in a spotlighting environment now, which is uh, just my jewelry store lighting at the counters. Okay, and in the three o'clock position, you can see that white, um, looks like a white inclusion off to the side there in the three o'clock position. Okay, I'll bring you by the uh, front window as well. All righty, and lastly, I'm here by the uh, front window and allowing natural uh, ambient daylight to fall onto the face of the diamond. Quite frankly, I cannot see it in this lighting because I'm just blinded by all the brightness and um, and all this you know the, the the contrast of this diamond is amazing beautiful but there it is I have it now in the three o'clock position again I haven't really changed the position of the um, of the inclusion or the, the way that I'm holding in the tweezers now here it would be in the 12 o'clock position Okay. And as you can see, the light return within the diamond uh, virtually drowns out the imperfection. So, <clears throat> it's in some uh, weak or dim spotlighting environments where you may catch it. But, uh, but again, it's in, the, it's in a, a perfect location for the I-1 clarity grade, you know, as opposed to, say, being right smack dab under the table. All right, and always know that, you know, products like this, we back with full 30-day full cash refund or exchange whatsoever, so you're not stuck. Um, and we want you to see it, and, of course, we want you to be happy.
yeah. uh, with the diamond okay, okay. Uh, once it comes into your possession. So you'll let us know. Thank you for watching.